Today we're going to be installing a CUDA 350 fish finder on this Malabakai Stealth. We'll be installing this on a ram out, so there'll be some additional materials and tools required. Uh, you need a drill, a cordless drill, a 13 16 inch drill bit, a 13 64 inch drill bit, wire strippers, a Phillips screwdriver, rivet gun, and a lighter. To complete this install, we're going to need marine goop for the transducer, need pop rivets, number eight by three quarter bolts, buck connectors, terminal connectors, fuse and fuse holder, a ram mount for the fish finder, wire seal, duct tape, wire, and your fish finder and transducer. First step of our installation is going to be to bolt the fish finder base to our ram mount, move the top portion of the ram mount using the pre-drilled holes. We'll take our number eight bolts and bolt it on. Next we want to determine where we want our ram mount. Once you have it figured out where you want it, go ahead and place the round base and mark it with your sharpie. Using your 1364 cent drill bit, drill out the holes. <laughs> the drill bit came out of the drill. <laughs> Once your holes are drilled, go ahead and put on your ram mount and insert the rivets into the holes. And use your rivet gun to apply the rivets. Once we have the ram mount affixed to the kayak, we'll go ahead and do our wire seal. First step is to remove the stock black grommet on the inside. We're going to use the gray one so we do not need the black one. Next you'll take your 13 16 inch drill bit and drill your hole for the wire seal. And then take the wire seal, put it in with the threaded side down. And we'll fix the nut to the back side. Stop it. <laughs> Wait. Once you have the wire seal tightened down with the nut in the back, we can take our transducer plug and insert it through the bottom of the wire seal. Next, take your gray grommet, slide it over the transducer wire and into the wire seal. Take the cap, do the same, and tighten it down. As you tighten your wire seal, the grommet will compress and create a watertight seal around the wires. Next we're going to want to apply our transducer inside the kayak. To do this, you'll want to take a length of duct tape, put it on the back side of the transducer, turn it upside down, then we'll take our marine goop, put a layer on the bottom of the transducer, make sure you don't lift the tip of the goop out of it to create air bubbles. Once we have our group on the bottom, hold the tape back, apply the transducer to the kayak, rocking it from one side to the other and then centered, and smooth out the tape to hold the transducer in place. 
Our next step is going to be to wire the fish fryer. You want to take the leads coming off of the plug, take a buck connector, put it on the red wire, and crimp that. From there, we're going to want to go to our fuse holder. And on the black wire, we'll do another buck connector. Then we'll want to take our excess wire, you're going to want two to three feet off of this for your battery lead, crimp on the black one first. In the red. Dude, that looks kind of tasty. Oh, that's that one. Oh, here's the spoiler part. You can then measure out how much battery cable you like. Cut it to length. On the ends of this, we'll want to do our terminal connectors or your battery box plug, depending on the power option you've chosen. We can then heat shrink all our buck connectors using a lighter or a heat gun. Once you've applied the heat to those, we can move on and zip tie up our wiring to keep it all nice and clean. When we tie up our wiring, you can do the electrical wire first. Be sure before you tie up the transducer wire to let the transducer dry at least 24 hours so that it doesn't shift. You can just take this wire and zip tie it right up to the scupper hole. You'll keep it out of the way and clean. Final step after tying up the wire is going to be to put the ram mount onto the fish finder, put that onto the ball of the boat, tighten, plug it in, and check your work. And your installation is complete.